and Scotland, 22 in the southeast of England. As we head into Saturday and Sunday, the chance of some heavy downpours towards the south drier further north and west. Hello, I'm Ross Atkins with Outside Source. This is the extraordinary story of climate change. Vaccines, Europe, the Taliban, Ukraine. Symbolically, it's very important. Let's take this stage by stage. Here's the BBC Stephen McDonald in Beijing. The West has stepped up sanctions against Russia. Let's look at some of the international reaction. Tell us what you've been hearing. In practical terms, what does that mean? Next, we have to step back and let's just remind ourselves this is all part of the same story. Piece the story together with Ross Atkins. Outside Source, tonight at 7 on the BBC News Channel. Hello and welcome to BBC News. I'm Jane Hill, live at Buckingham Palace, where the Queen has taken the salute at Trooping the Colour at the start of her Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The Queen was joined on the balcony at the Palace by her family, although not by Prince Harry and Meghan. Thousands lined the Mall to watch the ceremony, which was being broadcast around the world. It was marked with a special fly pass to celebrate the Queen's 70 years on the throne. The illustrator Sir Quentin Blake, the broadcaster Claire Balding and the actor Damien Lewis are among more than a thousand people recognised in the Queen's birthday honours list. And in the rest of the day's news, Johnny Depp has been seen in a Newcastle pub while in the US his legal team celebrated his defamation win, but domestic abuse campaigners say they're worried about the message it sends. Disruption is expected to continue at airports throughout the UK as up to two million people prepare to fly over the next few days. Hello and a warm welcome back to Buckingham Palace where the crowds are uh, starting to filter away now. Thousands and thousands of people gathered here behind me, those in the seats, thousands more up the mall uh, as they were here today for the Trooping the Colour uh, ceremony and it has been uh, quite a magical morning. Um, and uh, we've seen a fantastic fly past as well. Uh, the Red Arrows and uh, many more besides the RAF coming here over the palace. Uh, lots of people to talk to in the next hour here. But first, let's just have this report on uh, the day's events so far from Dan Johnson. Some of the youngest royals were first.